Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday with me, Joe. So it's time for my five whiskey reviews in a row. Um, basically, I wanted to get some whiskies reviewed that I've been that I've been sitting in my collection for a while. So I thought, why not treat you to a, basically a full working week of whiskey reviews? So let's start with the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve. Very, very, very popular whiskey from the ubiquitous Johnny Walker stable. Now the Gold Label Reserve was introduced around about two years ago, uh, around that time, basically to replace the green label in the price point. Uh, the green label was the 15 year old blended malt um, and they also had a Johnny Walker gold label 18 year old. So the 18 year old was discontinued as was the green. They bought out the gold label reserve which is a no age statement one and they've also bought out a platinum label 18 year old. So those are the two whiskies that replaced the old two. A little bit confusing. So this is the gold label reserve. It comes in at around about £40. It's no age statement and it was made to show off the kind of Mortlach component and Kleinleash components of the Johnny Walker. So if it's showing off the Mortlach, if it's showing off Kleinleash, I'm expecting kind of big kind of chocolate, maybe a bit, a bit of showy notes and also maybe a little bit of a salty smoke from the Kleinleash. Bottled at 40% um, in the classic Johnny Walker square bottle. Sold all over the world. Um, just a very, very, very popular brand. Poss possibly the biggest whiskey brand in the world. And most well known label. Now it's a Scotch whiskey, a Scotch blended whiskey, which means it contains malt whiskey and grain whiskey. So let's give it a nose. Okay, on the nose straight away. You can smell that kind of sweetness. Kind of a creaminess, as a raisin note. Now Johnny Walker also uses Cardu, which is one of the main whiskies in all the Johnny Walkers as well. But with this one I'm getting kind of chocolate raisins. A little bit of polish maybe. Yeah, I can kind of smell the grain but it smells like the grain is fairly well aged. So I'm getting that kind of sweet honey note. Almost kind of honeycomb. Let's give it a, give it a bit of a warm up. Now I'm glad so many of you uh, last week um, liked my new location. I much prefer it. So let's give it a, a nose again. I'm getting a kind of a slight waxiness, which will be coming through from the Kleinleash, because Kleinleash is a kind of a fairly waxy style of whiskey. There's a bit more kind of sea, sea salt as well, that I can smell. Okay, let's get to the taste. Mmm. Mmm. Taste wise, first impressions is it's classic Johnny Walker style. It's incredibly creamy, incredibly soft, um, ridiculously easy to drink, kind of goes down without you even noticing, which is what Johnny Walker was just kind of designed to do. It's designed to appeal to kind of everyone's palate. Um, taste wise, I get kind of a cream soda note. I get a little bit of dark chocolate, a little bit of bitterness. Have another taste. Mm. That Kleinish character does come through as well, so I'm getting kind of green apple skins, that kind of waxy note, a little bit of tartness coming through, kind of developing. Again, that mortlach presence as well is there. Raisins, as I said, dried fruit, honey, touch of banana. Let's give it one more third final taste. Mm. It 
tastes like there is some age there, although it's no age statement, which, you know, could suggest there's some younger whiskies in there, it does taste that it is fairly well developed. There is some sherry influence going on in there, so you're getting a lovely whiny sherry note, that kind of rich fruit cake. Um, I think it's a superb whisky. I really, really, really do. Um, I think Johnny Walker has done extremely well in the taste and the development of it. Um, again, it shows that no age statement whisky, especially a, a no age statement blend for about £40, can be a superb, complex, tasty whisky. Um, I defy anyone for that to be put in front of them and not enjoy it and not find it complex. For me, the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve is a solid 8 out of 10. Purely for the taste, the complexity, the in it's actually interesting, which is good. Solid 8 out of 10 I would give that. It's incredibly creamy, incredibly easy to drink. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve? Not the 18 year old, this is not the 18 year old. So there's no age statement, it's the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve. Let me know what you think, please share the video, and I will see you tomorrow for another whiskey review. Cheers guys, bye bye.